welcome back. We are about to talk about a very exciting topic, the first hybrid crypto asset. I have a lot of questions. So here with, with me today is Nitesh Danchandani, uh, who asked him to call, to call him just Danny. So I'm going to do just that. <laughs> and Gerard Johannes. Um, uh, so Danny is a head of digital media at Nagaya Technologies and Gerard is founder of the Nagaya Technologies LTD. So guys, uh, a question, the first hybrid crypto asset, what is that? What is a hybrid crypto asset? Okay, so uh, thank you for the question, uh, Catherine. Uh, so it's actually a combination of uh, the asset is backed by a stable asset, but at the same time, it has the potential to grow with time. So at the same time, we can ensure Nagaya's value to still be more stable, but at the same time, it has the potential to grow. So it's not entirely a stable coin, right it's not entirely a utility coin so that's why it's uh, it's called as hybrid crypto asset are you going to use this hybrid crypto assets as a definition for this asset class is that where you're, is that what we're going to call it like so you know there's the utility token security token and non-fungible token uh stable coin and a hybrid asset is that yeah. what we're going to call it yeah we're, yes. we're we are coining a new term okay so i uh you, you told me guys that you have a presentation right you have slides yeah so you can put them on right. and we can start. Okay, so uh, first of all, thank you, uh, Sergey and Catherine. Yeah, hello everyone and good day to you. Thank you for being here today. It's a pleasure to be able to virtually meet you all today. I hope that we are all doing well and healthy. Well, first of all, I would like to thank DAO Consensus and the amazing team, especially Mr. Ilya, the CEO of DAO Consensus, and, the, and Mr. Joseph for running this awesome event today, connecting us together in this digital event. Also, thank you to our previous speakers, Mr. George and Mr. Evgeny for sharing about blockchain staking and real life applications. My name is Jorat Yonas Chandra, and today I would like to introduce to you one concept that we believe could revolutionize the crypto industry. But before that, allow me to share with you a story of how it all began. Well, as we all knew, 2018 was a bad day, a, a, sorry, a bad year for the crypto market. From January to February, the price of majority of crypto assets fell down. Even the most powerful one, Bitcoin, well, it fell 65%. Sadly, I have a friend who went bankrupt. I remember he told me that he had to sell his house, his cars, and almost all of his assets. He followed the trend during the bull market, but unfortunately, he bought Bitcoin at its peak and he had to let it go at its bottom price. And this is his loss in Bitcoin alone, not considering the other cryptocurrencies that he had. Well, I went outside and realized the same thing that happened to my friend also happened to a lot of people worldwide. According to the Bloomberg report by September 2018, the MPIS Crypto Compare Digital Assets Index shown that the top 10 digital assets had lost 80% of its value. In terms of percentage, this is greater than the bursting of the dot-com bubble in 2002. So we in Nagaya did our research and found some cracks and challenges in the crypto assets world. The first one is the price volatility. The second one is the non-performing crypto assets. And the third one, which is for me, the worst one is the fraud or scam in the name of crypto assets. I and my team believe deep down that crypto assets are created for a good purpose, a decentralized world where everything is from the people, by the people and for the people. So this crash got me thinking, and I asked myself three questions. The first one is, how to create a crypto asset that is backed by a physical asset? 
but actually there are already stable coins but since stable coins are packed entirely by another asset their value merely follows the value of the asset so then it leads me to my second question how to create an asset that's relatively more stable in market value but isn't necessarily become a stable coin so their value can still grow with time and the last question how to create a digital asset that can be trusted by the global market well i mean for the long term so in the year 2018 a new asset type was born so let me introduce to all of you the first hybrid crypto assets we name it nagaya what is this hybrid crypto asset you may ask right what are the challenges it tackles and what is its for future potential so now i would allow our chief of digital marketing mr dani to share further Okay, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Johannes. Good evening to good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are around the world. Thank you so much to the Dow Consensus team for this beautiful event that we are running. So thank you for for allowing us to share a little bit about the the a new concept in the world of crypto assets that is called as hybrid crypto asset. Now, Nagaya is the first hybrid crypto asset. Why is Nagaya called the first hybrid crypto asset? Let us take a look. So Nagaya is a digital asset that is partially backed by pure gold. Now, as we all know, gold has served its purpose as a hedging instrument for generations. So the value of the gold here is to protect the value of your Nagaya from free falling. And there is a reason why Nagaya is called as a hybrid crypto asset because partially it is backed by gold, but at the same time, it is not entirely like uh, other stable coins. Partially, Nagaya will be running physical prospective projects. Now, why does these projects matter to you? From these projects, there will be benefits that you will receive as a Nagaya holder. In what sense? The first one is the gold increment. So let's put it this way. For example, today you purchase Nagaya and each Nagaya is backed by 0 0.05 grams of gold. This is an example, all right? Next month, the amount of gold can increase to 0 0.06 and then it could increase to 0 0.07 grams, 0 0.08 grams. So the amount, the gramation is gonna increase every month. And at the same time, beside receiving, beside your gold amount increasing with time, you're also going to be receiving profit sharing that comes from our projects, right? So this is a, the reason why Nagaya is actually a revolutionary concept. It's the first out there. It's called as the first hybrid crypto asset because partially Nagaya is backed by gold, a real asset to protect its value, but at the same time, not entirely. It's going to be running physical projects that's going to be providing you value as a Nagaya holder in the form of the gold increment and the profit share. Now, how does this matter to you in the long run? Let's take a look. There are two kinds of value when it comes to an asset. The first value is called as an intrinsic value, right, which is the value of the asset itself. The second is called as market value, which is how much the, the market is willing to spend to purchase your asset. Now, Nagaya's intrinsic value, your coin, your Nagaya coin's intrinsic value is the gold that is backing your Nagaya up, right? But at the same time, as you notice, Nagaya's intrinsic value will increase every month. We're not talking about market value yet, right? We're talking about intrinsic value. The intrinsic value will increase every month in the form of the gold increment and in the form of the profit share. Now, how does this matter, right? At this point of time, and we're gonna take a look at it later, Nagaya is running one physical project. One physical project can produce the gold increment and profit share once a month. 
later on when our second physical project is already running, we are gonna be able to provide profit share and gold increment twice a month. Now imagine what will happen if we are already running three projects, five projects, 10 projects and so forth. And when this happens, two things is gonna happen in the market, okay? Two things is gonna happen in the market that we can anticipate. Um, what are the two things? The first one is, if you are already holding Nagaya coin and you are already receiving your profit share every month, you're already receiving your gold increment every month, right? Unless and until there is a really high offer from the market, you will not wanna sell your Nagaya, right? You'll be more reluctant to sell it. So that means in the market, there will be less sellers. Right? And the Gaia supply is limited as well. There's only 50 million coins. And the second thing that will happen is those who do not own Nagaya yet will want to have some Nagaya coins. Right? And they have to buy from the market because the amount is limited. So according to the market architecture here, the market dynamics, there is more demand and less supply, less sellers. And because of this, because of this exact, uh, because of this um, uh, aspects, Nagaya's market value is predicted to increase exponentially with time. And this can happen because of Nagaya's intrinsic value that keeps increasing with time. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? None of what I say or none of what uh, Mr. Johannes just now said would matter to you unless and until we are able to build the one important thing between you and me, between us, Nagaya, and you, the holders. There's only one thing that's the most important. And what is that most important thing? It is trust. All we said will mean nothing unless and until we can build trust with you. And Nagaya's mission from the beginning, and it hasn't changed yet, is that we want to build trust and value through legality and transparency. That's all we're promising. All we're promising is legality and transparency. Now let's take a look at what legality and transparency really means for Nagaya Technologies. First of all, you as a Nagaya holder, you are able to see the gold that is stored back your Nagaya, which means you are able to see the gold that is stored including the invoice, as you can see here in the picture, right? And the gold that is backing your Nagaya up is a 999.9 .9 LBMA grade gold, which is pure gold. Where is your gold kept? Your gold is kept in a safe and secure deposit that is called as the Safe House Singapore. This exact location is an ISO 9001 certified storage facility in Singapore and regulated by the Singapore government. For more information, you can visit the safehouse.sg to see, to have more information about, about the safe house. And we said we're gonna be running projects, right? This is one of the projects that is already running when it comes to Nagaya. It is a nickel mine that is located in Indonesia. Let's take a look at it together. Can you hear? No, we can't hear it. Just turn on the two boxes, unshare it and check up two boxes. Yeah. We don't hear it. We don't hear it. Okay. It. All right, so more details about Nagaya's project. That was Nagaya's nickel mine that is located in Indonesia. There will be more uh, projects that is what we are gonna be running in the future. And all of Nagaya's project is available for public viewing, even if you haven't purchased the Nagaya coin yet. Everything is there in the website. For every project entails with it, the profit and loss report, and it will be audited once a year. The audit report will also be available for public viewing every year. Now, Nagaya Technologies Private Limited is officially registered in Singapore. As you can see, these are the registration details. These are our core management. Our core management comes from all around, uh, all around Asia, yeah. Uh, and of course, definitely, we are looking forward to be collaborating with you wherever you are in Asia, whichever country you are, and expanding it to your country, right? And not to forget, Nagaya is also a member of Access, 
and Singapore FinTech Association. As you can see the logo down there. Access is the Singapore Cryptocurrency and Blockchain Industry Association. Right? And see SFA, Singapore FinTech Association. Nagaya is already a member of both of these. This is our office, uh, our office in Singapore and our office in uh, South Korea. You can uh, pay a visit anytime you're around. And the dream, the ultimate dream of all crypto assets and cryptocurrencies out there is that one day they want to be used as a payment method, correct? All crypto assets want that. And definitely that's the goal to achieve. And we are really honored and humbled at the same time to announce to you that Nagaya has been officially chosen to be used as a payment method in a shopping mall that is going to be built in the, in the ad hoc uh, administrative capital of South Korea, which is called a Sejong City. Right, so we have been chosen and the mall will be operational in 2023. And we are currently in talks with other countries as well to explore the possibilities of the same uh, of, of, of this area. But we thought of sharing this with you because uh, this is very humbling for us as well. And this is to show to you that our plan is long term. Our plan is to build trust and value through legality and transparency. Another one of Nagaya's, um, what do you call it, roadmap in the future that is, a, that is in our pipeline is that Nagaya is going to build a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform. Now, what does this mean? This platform is going to allow, will be allowing individuals from different countries to be able to borrow and lend money amongst each other. But the problem with that is always definitely collateral. Right? How can the lender be able to trust the borrower and what collateral can be used in order for this transaction to happen? Because these people have just met. Right? So with Nagaya's concept, we believe that the lenders will be able to be more comfortable and will be more welcoming to accept Nagaya as a collateral so that the transaction can happen. And it is said that the global peer-to-peer -peer lending market platform is expected to reach $558 billion by the year 2027, right? And this, uh, this research comes from EliteMarketResearch.com. So once this is already operational, uh, imagine if Nagaya can just get like a, a, a teeny tiny portion of the pie and we'll be able to share that to you or Nagaya holders in the form of the gold increment and also the profit share. Wouldn't that be great, right? And another one of uh, another one that is also there in our roadmap is cross-chain interoperability. What does this mean? Right now, Nagaya is operating under its own blockchain uh, blockchain system, right? In the future, there will be a representative of the Nagaya coins, a form of the Nagaya coins, in different blockchain platforms, uh, especially definitely Ethereum and definitely Binance as well. Right? We are more than happy to collaborate. We are more than happy to speak and. And, and let's see what we can do together, right? So more people from different, uh, what do you call it, black blockchain ecosystems will be able to interact with the Nagaya coins, right? Which of course bears the gold and the profit share that carries with it in the future. That's also one of our uh, roadmaps in the future. So there it is. Uh, these are some of the uh, projects that has already been running and some of the ones that we are definitely preparing for the future. But there are some more that we are, of course, in the talks and in the process of uh, launching it to the market. But I would like to highlight here, what matters to us is to build trust and value. And we do that not by over-promising results, but we do that by legality and transparency. Okay, uh, Danny, what is, I'll, yeah, I'll, just, I'll just sum it up. I'll just sum it up, yeah? Okay, okay so, okay. so the first hybrid crypto asset here means what? Nagaya is backed by a tangible asset because uh, which means we are able to tackle the challenge of volatility uh, that comes of course with uh, cryptocurrency. It's, uh, there are positive and negative aspects to it, right? By the gold that's backing it up, a more stable coin, but not necessarily a stable coin, right? Because of the project and its utilities. 
And again, this is our goal to be trusted by the global market through our legality and transparency. Uh, right now, Nagaya is still at its uh, early uh, public coin offering stage, right? And we are definitely looking to expand. We're definitely looking to collaborate and, um, you know, to interact with you wherever you are around the world. And uh, let's collaborate. Let's build this together. Let's do things together and let's connect. You can visit www.nagaya.co and you can, um, you know, you can also visit it as our Telegram channel or you can contact Dow Consensus, right? Because we are already in touch with Dow Consensus.